A major storm system is set to impact the United States over the next couple of days with significant severe weather expected from the Midwest and the Ohio Valley back into the Southern Plains and also impacting the East Coast where damaging winds, very large hail and a few tornadoes are likely. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And we are coming off of a pretty big day of damaging winds across areas in the Central and Southern Plains. Notice how we have a big complex of storms that was ongoing very early this morning that is now weakening as it pushes into Missouri but the remnants of this storm system will actually lead to the threat of severe weather today we're gonna have a low pressure system spinning over Iowa and Missouri later this morning into the afternoon which is gonna help to aid the threat of all hazards of severe weather especially a threat of tornadoes back over in parts of northeastern Illinois northwest Indiana and southern Michigan where I do think several tornadoes are a possibility but that's gonna be contingent on storm mode and we're gonna talk more about that here in just a moment. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days and we'll begin with today which is Wednesday and we have a level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk of severe weather in place. This does include southern Michigan all the way back into southeastern Missouri just to the south of St. Louis. A slight risk that goes from Detroit, Michigan back into Dallas, Fort Worth and a marginal threat that includes Texas and as far east as Pennsylvania where all hazards of severe weather will be on the table today. This includes a threat of scattered to numerous damaging winds especially if you are in the red shaded area which includes Indiana. Indianapolis, Southern Illinois, even near Evansville, Indiana, and back towards Kalamazoo in Michigan. Large hail is also a possibility. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these initial supercells that fires back over in Illinois or Indiana produces hail up to the size of two to two and a half inches in diameter. But generally speaking, most hailstone sizes will be no larger than the size of golf balls. And there's also a potential for a few tornadoes. And I would not rule out in the next Storm Prediction Center outlook if we get a 10% tornado risk to include parts of Northeastern Illinois, Northern Indiana, and Southern Michigan. This is where I think the greatest tornado threat will exist today. But nonetheless, a few tornadoes are going to be possible anywhere from just south of Oklahoma City all the way back up into central Michigan and as far east as around Cleveland, Ohio. So definitely make sure that you have multiple ways to receive warnings and have a tornado action plan ready to go in case you are under a tornado warning later today. And as a reminder, we will be live covering this threat today, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And on Thursday, our threat of severe weather continues to shift further to the east where all hazards of severe weather will once again be a possibility. Large slight risk of severe weather from New England back into North Carolina. Marginal threat also includes the Dixie Alley. I think the biggest concern across the board will be damaging winds, and I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting an enhanced risk for severe weather across parts of New England and also back into the Mid-Atlantic for damaging winds. Large hail is also a possibility, but by no means will this be the primary concern. There's also a chance for a few tornadoes. I think the greatest chance of this will actually be in eastern New York, and there may be a slightly more localized tornado threat as well back over near Maryland. So make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts on Thursday and it is not known yet if we will be live on Thursday but just in case make sure to click the bell icon down below so you're notified if we do go live and one of the biggest things that I want to point out about today's setup is that our tornado threat will actually be increasing throughout the late morning and early afternoon so we are likely going to start to see tornado warnings as soon as 10 to 11 o'clock this morning but definitely after lunchtime is when I think that tornado threat really starts to ramp up our significant tornado parameter values across the board range from one to four and mainly in central Illinois and all the way back over into the Mississippi River Valley but our best best chance of tornadoes in my opinion will be this corridor here that'll go all the way back up towards Chicago northwestern and northern Indiana maybe even near Indianapolis and then eventually going towards Michigan as we go throughout the afternoon hours so, so I do think our greatest tornado threat will be mainly during the early to mid afternoon but it will continue into the early evening back over in Michigan and then after about eight o'clock or so I think most of the storms will be weakening so this should be mostly a daytime threat there will be a very slight threat during the, e the mid to late evening basically after sunset but overall a lot of storms are expected throughout the afternoon and even the late morning. So here's the timing for today. Our low pressure system will move into western Illinois by around 10 to 11 in the morning. And then by around lunchtime is when I think storms are going to start to fire off just to the east of that little low. And this is where we're going to start to see supercells fire. And if these supercells can stay discreet enough, we should have a pretty long-term tornado threat really starting around lunchtime and then rolling all the way through the afternoon. You can see all these supercells here that kind of spin up here right around and just south of Chicago, back into northwestern and western Indiana, right around 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon our greatest threat will be damaging winds down here but if any storms can stay discreet the tornado threat will be way more elevated as we have a lot of wind shear in this environment by four o'clock the, the most elevated tornado threat will be moving into northern indiana mainly just off to the west there of fort wayne and then by five o'clock the greatest threat will be moving into southwestern michigan just outside of kalamazoo damaging winds and hail though the primary concern with a lot of these storms and then by six to seven o'clock we should continue to see that line of storms push across cincinnati dayton and back into northwestern ohio even a 
across central Kentucky, damaging winds and an isolated tornado being a possibility. And if storms again can stay discreet enough in Michigan, there could still be an elevated tornado threat even around 7 o'clock tonight back over in central and southern Michigan just outside of Detroit. I think the severe weather, though, is pretty much done when it comes to tornadoes by about 9 to 10 o'clock tonight across the Ohio Valley and as well as the Midwest. And then for those further down to the south into the Ozarks and the Tennessee Valley, scattered showers and thunderstorms will be a possibility throughout the late morning, early afternoon. Mainly a damaging wind threat. We may see a corridor of storms form back over along the interstate here between Joplin and Missouri. But with the storms rolling through this morning, it may just stabilize the atmosphere enough to the point where really nothing refires here. So that would be good news. Hopefully that happens and hopefully we don't see any crazy activity there in the Ozarks. But the HRRR does have a sneaky storm or two around and just after sunset that may produce hail, wind, and maybe a very low tornado risk. So something to keep an eye on there across the Ohio Valley. And then in the Southern Plains, we'll have a few scattered showers and thunderstorms fire off later this afternoon, mainly across central Oklahoma. If the cap is overcome back over in North Texas, we may even see a big hailstorm or two, but generally speaking, the biggest concern down here will be large hail and damaging winds. Really almost no tornado risk in Oklahoma and Texas. It is a very, very, very low chance for today. And back over in the Northeast on Thursday, we are expecting the threat of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. This will be mainly an afternoon risk. There will be a few pop-up storms with damaging winds and hail. Right now, it does not look to be a super elevated tornado threat by any means, but I think if we were to see tornadoes, the greatest chance would be right here in eastern New York. And if you're further back down to the south in the mid-Atlantic, this is an area that I do think has a slightly better chance of a, maybe a tornado or two near Maryland uh, during the afternoon hours. This is by around 4 to 5 o'clock. Notice that we have a few storms here back over Maryland and Virginia. These may produce spin-up tornadoes, but overall, I think the biggest concern will still be damaging winds and hail. So again, if we end up seeing a bit more of an elevated threat there in Maryland during the afternoon, we may go live, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But overall, this is your pretty typical summertime storms across most of the East Coast here. Obviously, we're not technically in summer yet, astronomically, but we will be here in just a couple of days. But meteorologically, summer did begin on June 1st. And then beyond Thursday, our threat of severe weather will start to go down on Friday. I don't see there being a whole lot of severe weather really anywhere across the country on Friday, but maybe in the northern plains of the upper Midwest with some hail and wind. A trough will develop across the Rockies as we go into Saturday and Sunday, but I do think there will be enough ridging off to the east to prevent most storms from developing on Saturday. On Sunday, there could be some severe weather back over in the high plains, but for right now, nothing really definitively is screaming to me, an outbreak or anything like that. And then by Monday, that I think it will be our next big chance of at least some showers and thunderstorms capable of producing all hazards of severe weather, but mainly hail and wind anywhere from Iowa back over towards New Mexico. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, this weather pattern will continue. We'll continue to see some showers and thunderstorms and severe weather should continue across the Great Plains, even by the middle and end of next week. And then we will likely start to enter a at least slightly quieter weather pattern as we go into the beginning of July for most of the Great Plains. So let's hope severe weather is winding down here soon. But for right now, it does look like we'll at least have a few more shots of severe weather as we go into next week. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll be live later today with live coverage with live storm chasers as well. So make sure you stay tuned and we'll see you guys all again in the live stream later today and probably in another video tomorrow.